on Haiti. Here's the Pali over Haiti. The one that's over here, here's the Pali over here. Here's the and, and I look at this. Trap the people. The truth. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The truth will set you free. Ain't this, ain't this, a, ain't this a, a, a joke? They put it up there so people can think that they're part of, uh, they're part of this. What is this place? This is this is a botanica. This is a place that they, every, everyone in the Bronx come here to buy the ingredients to do witchcraft and hurt people and kill people. This is a place. We can go inside. Come on, let's see, let's see what we can find. If I tell you I was going to kill you in 30 days, you prepare your funeral, you was going to die in 30 days. If, if you, I don't care who you were, I don't care who you knew, I don't care what you, you call yourself, if you were Catholic and you say you were Christian and you say you were a believer, I was going to kill you unless you had a real relationship with Jesus Christ. And the lady that lived downstairs, and she came up and she told me, my husband is cheating. I want you to kill the woman that she's cheating with. Put a witchcraft spell on her and kill her. How much you charge me? I said, well, come back. I'm going to speak to the devil, my daddy. But, uh, and, and I'll let you know, come back in a couple of days. So the lady came back, the devil told me what to buy. He said, buy a coffin box, buy 21 black candles, uh, buy an image of the lady, put it in the box, you know, to do the witchcraft, to kill this lady. So we were gonna do her, for 21 days, she was gonna die. After 21 days, we were gonna do her funeral. So when the lady came to my house, I'm gonna charge you $10,000, I told her, to kill the lady. She said, sure. She said, I'll tell you what, I know you. You've been good to me. I go to your house parties. Give me $7,000. I'll give you 30% off. I said, I'll kill her. I give me 30%, I take 30% off the 10, give me, give me 7,000. So when the lady was gonna leave my house, she said, by the way, she's a, she's a Christian. She said, the lady's a Christian. I said, I kill her for free. I said, I don't need the money. I said, I'm gonna kill her for free. I'm gonna teach these Christians a lesson that they're, never, they're gonna learn. I kill her for free. I told her, I don't want your money. I kill her for free. So I did the voodoo thing, I did the, the witchcraft thing, and 21 days went by, the lady didn't die. Uh, 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 a month went by, the lady didn't die. And, and I was like, wow, you know, what's going on? I mean, my reputation's online. So I called the devil, I called the demons, I was signed. I, I increased the, the witchcraft. I increased the witchcraft. To, I doubled the witchcraft on it so she can die like overnight. Nothing was going on, nothing was going on. I was home at night and the devil shows up. And I feel the presence of the devil comes into my mouth. And then uh, the devil told me, we have to abort the plan of the lady that you want to kill. And I said, why would we want to abort the plan? My reputation's online. I'm a witch, I'm a, I'm a warlock. If I don't kill the lady, they're gonna think that I don't have any powers. The devil said, you don't know, you don't understand. The God that she serves said, don't leave her, leave her alone. Don't touch her. And I said, who's this God? She said, the God that she serves. So I, 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 I was so angry. I was so, I said, no, but let's get one more week. Let's kill her. And he said, no, the God that she serves said, leave her alone. From the, the witchcraft that I did to the lady, she should have been dead in less than 21 days. How you doing, man? Let's go grab him when I see it. This is Jezebel. This is Jezebel in religion. This, this is how it works. See, these statues here, this here don't mean nothing. But it's a demon behind so, so, so in order for me to identify to this, this has to be created because I can't identify to a spirit. I can't identify to because the spirit, we don't have nothing in common. I'm humanity. A spirit is immortality. A spirit is a spirit of demon. I can't relate to it. So in order for me to relate to it, he has to put this guy in the middle so I can relate to it because he's human form. He knows how to human being. There's a story behind this guy so now I can relate to him. So the demon operates to him. You understand? Same thing with these guys. Here. And then they give themselves names and dates and birthdays. Because they said these are never, how the American Indians get caught up with demonic forces and they get, they get caught up into the occult. This is what they teach the attraction of the Native American Indians. But those are statues that the people that use camouflage the demonic ways and demonic religion. There's nothing here that is holy. There's nothing here. The only thing that's holy here is us standing here. Mm. What happens in this place? Like this what? place here in the back, they do witchcraft, they do voodoo, they do, they do, they do witch spells in the back, they do cleansing in the back. Over here, they, all these demons, they want you to buy these statues so you can take a demon home. They, they select the prayers. Mm. So they, they make you believe that you pray to God. Look, see, I used to, I used to use this book for selected the prayers. They make you think that you're praying to God, but these prayers are not, God, they're not godly prayers. There's nothing in the Bible that says nothing about the Bible, the crucifixion. We had a book in New York, in, in America. I was the third person to get this book that has symbols of the book, of different demons, of different principality, a different way of killing people through witchcraft. And then this book was so, no one had, had a copy of this book. You couldn't have a copy of this book unless the devil signed off on it. 
and I was the third person that received that book. And I would take symbols from that book and do witchcraft to people and put people in, in, in uh, make people lose their mind. I put witchcraft on people, make people get diseases out of nowhere. I put witchcraft on people, make people get leprosy. I put witchcraft on people, make people get cancer. I mean, I did witchcraft to people. I gave people miscarriages. I gave people abortions. I gave people. I put people in hospital for for not for surgeries that they didn't even have to go surgeries. I did witchcraft so people can lose their minds. I, I put spirits of, of, of bipolar, fichophrenia. I put spirits of of, of of disease on people. I put suicide spirits on people. I'd be up all night long, praying and talking to the devil. When Christians can't even go to church for one year, for one hour. When Christians can't even pray for one hour, the spirit realm is, so, is more real than the natural realm. And, and we fail to see that. And whatever is not covered with Jesus Christ is an easy target to bring down. Like the atheists, I can kill them easily. They were easy to kill. The, the, the Jehovah's Witness were easy to destroy. Uh, moment later, it was easy to destroy. Uh, the, 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 per, the people that would walk around and say, we don't believe in the devil, they were easy to destroy because they will not seek any spiritual help. I remember the time that Nikki Cruz came to uh, Nikki Cruz group came into my neighborhood, and uh, it's called Truce. They would come and do drive-bys in my neighborhood. They would do like worship, and then they would preach a word and go to another corner and do the same thing. And I, I came after this group to try to put them, to try to bring them down. This group, and they were young kids. They were like 18, 17, 16, 20. I mean, so I said, how did they, they play this junk, this filthy music in my neighborhood? With today we call worship. This filthy music in my neighborhood. I'm gonna go after them. I'm gonna destroy these kids. So when I went up to when I went up to uh, when I when I went up to uh, where they were at, there was a wall of fire around them. I couldn't penetrate and touch them, and there was something pushed me back. Every time I tried to throw demonic forces again, there was something that would just push me back, and I was able to touch these kids. And I said, "There was something here. It's, it's not right. Something is not falling into place." So I walked away and I left them alone. I didn't want to deal with them. I said, "Okay, you know, they won. The, they won this first round." So. There's obviously spirits here watching us. Yeah, oh yeah, not oh yeah, happy, watching right? us. Yeah, of course they're watching us. Yeah, and so we're all protected. We're yeah, we're all, protected. Yeah, we're yeah. under the blood, brother. Yeah. They're not like the blood of Jesus. Yeah, okay. Amen. Yeah, we're all good. protected, but they're not. They can touch us because mm. they, Joe said, "What well, we got? We got a hedge of protection mm. around us, right. and we can walk into this place. And we can chase demons out of here. We can, we can, we can curse this place to the ground in Jesus' name, and there's nothing that the devil can't do." Mm. I mean, I had so much money. Beautiful cars, beautiful woman. I had it all. I lived in the world that people, my neighborhood was, they, my neighborhood, they were terrified who I was. They said, we met, if you mess with that guy, your family will die. If you mess with that guy, he don't need a gun. He'll kill your family in his sleep. My daddy was awesome. My daddy was, he, he knew, he had, he gave me powers beyond I could imagine. He gave me powers that people had fear me. The police had fear me. The securities in my neighborhood had fear me. And people that knew that I was, a, I was, a, I was a, a, the devil's son, they would call me the devil's son. I brought Christian to the knees, not to prayer, because they had no power. It, it, it wasn't because your God wasn't all powerful. Don't get me wrong. Because your God was all powerful. The vessel was weak. The vessel had no prayer life. The prayer had no fasting life. And they had no relationship with God. There was a form of godliness in the person, but no power. The person was weak. The person had nothing going. He had a Bible. He had the right suit on. She had the right dress on. But there was no connection with Jesus Christ because you was out of his will you was out of his promises and you was out of his divine purpose and I had you I own you I had you as a slave I broke you I put witchcraft on you I kept doing that to Christian after Christian after Christian after families after churches I chased everything down that represented the cross of Jesus Christ very demonic place so that place has an effect on the whole neighborhood, the you're whole saying? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, they, 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 they just had this whole, this whole region on lockdown. That's the devil's throne. We just went into the devil's throne. Hmm.